Late summer and early fall is when we can expect to find velvet ants. Velvet ants are large, hairy, ant-like insects that are actually wasps that belong to one family. We can see them commonly uh, occurring in lawns and pastures this time of year. Velvet ants display a warning coloration, uh, usually reds, yellows, and blacks, as a warning to potential predators that they are dangerous. But while not aggressive, uh, the females do pack a powerful punch uh, with their sting. Uh, they have a very powerful venom uh, and, a, and a long uh, stinger uh, that they conceal at the tip of their abdomen. One of our largest species, the cow killer, has such a potent venom that it's said to be able to kill cows, although this claim is doubtful. The species of velvet ant that we call the cow killer measures nearly an inch long, is red, and has black markings. They're commonly seen or more, more readily observed just due to their sheer size and uh, their speed as they move along the ground. Velvet ants display sexual dimorphism, which means that the males and females do not resemble one another. Uh, the males are winged and look more like wasps, whereas the females do not have wings and have that ant-like appearance. They have a very velvety, hairy body. Velvet ants can commonly be seen in bare patches of soil like we see behind me. Uh, this is because their preferred prey, uh, ground nesting bees and wasps, tend to occur in these areas. Uh, the female velvet ant will enter the chamber of those ground nesting uh, bees and wasps and lay their eggs on the brood. And those eggs then hatch into the larval velvet ants that feed as external parasites uh, on those uh, developing bees and wasps. Because these can be considered nuisance pests due to their sting, and if they're occurring in large numbers in an area, one way to manage that problem is to try to reduce their abundance by overseeding with grasses in those areas of bare soil where their preferred food sources, those ground nesting ants, ground nesting bees and wasps occur. So while one particular species of velvet ant is called the cow killer, uh, this is nothing to be concerned about from an agricultural standpoint. These are not pests of agriculture.